here. I have this one. And then I have this one. Two uh, garden dishes. And then I have these bowls here. These two little party bowls. There we go. What I'm going to do here is you guessed it. I am going to glue these together. This one is going to be glued like this. And then this one is going to be glued like this. And so what I'm going to use is my... Uh, I'm going to use my whale bond glue. And some hot glue. So I'm going to put a little whale bond here. And I'm going to use a little hot glue. But first, before I paint, I have got these off of Amazon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to, the hole is in the middle, but I'm going to put it to where it can go around like that. So the hole can be on each side instead of you seeing it. So then basically I'll put a little dot of glue here and then a little dot around the hole. And then when I connect it together, they align up like so. There we go. So I'm going to continue putting this around here. And then I'm going to put maybe some around here. And then I'm going to put some on this one. And I'm not sure if I'm going to put uh, beads around here. But I think I'm going to put something else around the edge here. So um, I'm going to come back with this one here. Okay, guys. So this is how... These turned out here after I painted them. I had a caramel Rust-Oleum uh, warm caramel spray paint that I used here. So this is how these turned out here. Okay, so what I've done is I took a little birdhouse and some white rocks. And I'm just taking the moss and just putting the moss around here. And then I have these little succulents here I'm going to stick down in here and I have so many varieties of them and I'm just going to leave the little clips on here I'm not going to take them off but I am going to hide them up underneath the rock so you can't see them. And then I have some of these here that's in the inside of here. Let's put another green one over here. So this is how this is going to turn out. That's that one. And I believe that's enough succulents in that. And then I have the big one here. And I did the same. I put moss around this one. So I'm going to stick that one down in there. And then I'm going to put this little bird is glued on here already. I used it once before, so I'm going to stick him in there. Actually, I can't put that one in there. So let's go with one of these. Let's put some color in there. Let's go with that one. And let's go with 
this one here and then we'll put another big one another big one right there and let's put a little small one right here so here we go that's how this one is going to look so this is how they turned out and i think they're really really pretty so this is this one and this is just some summer spring fall decor and i really really like how they turned out i think they're really really pretty so stay tuned for the next diy okay so now that this <clears throat> sorry so now that this is dried i'm going to take my little brush and take a little bit of my Rust-Oleum Linen White. Stir that up. I'm going to get off as much as I can. And I'm going to dab it on here on some paper towel. I'm going to dry brush it. I'm going to give this a second to dry. Okay, so now that that's dried, I'm going to take my stickers here, and I have, this one says home, so I may have to cut off some of the little swirlies in here, which I probably will. Let's see. I think I'm just going to get the letters out of here. Take my letter H here and I'm gonna put that there. And then here's my M here. For a little decoration on here. Nope, so I'm not going to use it. So that's how this turns out here. And it says home. And then I have this one here. It is like a branch of trees. Um, I don't know how much I can get on here, but we're going to see. So that's this one. Yet our roots remain the same. Our roots, yet our roots remain as one. So I'm going to put this on here. And like I said, it's not going to all fit on there. So I'm going to have to spread it out. 
so I'll cut it individually. Let's put yet right here. Yet. And let's put our here. And then we'll put roots remain the same at the bottom here. So I'm going to go ahead and paint these beads. Just dab a little paint on there. And voila. There we go. And I'm going to spray this with a top coat. I was going to put Mod Podge on there. But I think I'm just going to spray it with a top coat. So we have this one here, which is home. And that's how this one looks. And then we have this one here. And I think they came out really, really cute. So I appreciate you guys watching. Staying to the end of my video. I know it's kind of long. I hadn't did any videos in a while. And I really appreciate you guys coming back to watch me. Um, I will be putting out some more videos here soon. So stay tuned to my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. So the next time I do a video, you will be notified. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button, um, hit that notification bell, and hit all so you will be notified when I do an, a video. Um, like again, like I said, again, I really appreciate you guys holding me down and um, bearing with me through this trying time in my life right now. And I appreciate you guys, all the love and the prayers that you guys uh, sent me. And um, stay tuned for some. Stay tuned for some more videos. Thank you for watching. Have a good night.